what blood cell and everything the, the, uh, the, the essential thing in our blood actually okay so first of all actually okay, as we can see the blood your blood actually is quite bad because they are stuck to each other okay so this is what we call as erythrocyte replication okay so this kind of excess irrigation okay is due to a lot of things okay sometimes because of due to how to say most of the time if emotional or physically is is indication of stress okay so when your stress level is high okay your blood may become stuck to each other okay second of all okay due to lack of antioxidant so antioxidant actually is the one that how to say repel each other Okay, to make the blood become individual. So, the blood actually, okay, the, the really nice blood actually is supposed to be individual. Okay, so if you see the side view of the blood, actually it looks like this. You see a double bullshit by Kumke. So, uh, most of the time, actually 99%, okay, 99% of things like that, for example, oxygen, nutrients, okay, the essential for our body. Okay, or when we waste product, okay, they need to be escaped out from our body, maybe inside here. Maybe inside here. And the other one percent, okay, will be stuck to the, the membrane. Okay. So when it got stuck to each other like this, okay, it will close up the surface area. It will close up the surface area. So making the transportation of that essential thing for our body, our organs, yeah, our tissue, everything actually become less and less. Yeah. So for some time actually, uh, because of that, okay, uh, your our body actually cannot get enough energy to, to say to make them focus more, to, to say to work properly and everything. Or maybe uh, because due to that, okay, maybe we getting tired easily, fatigue and everything. So that's why actually it's most important. And for some reason actually, okay, even though your blood is stuck to each other, okay, they're still moving. Maybe due to because of diarrhea, okay, you drink a lot of water to compensate the loss of water inside your body. Right? So in that case actually okay that's why some of them actually still moving around okay due to because of the water. But the water intake actually is not uh, it's not making your blood become individual. No. It just it just how to say facilitate or maybe just uh, help in terms of flowing of the blood. That's it. So because why red blood cell actually doesn't have any how to say brain. It doesn't have any CPU actually. Okay? So this is the single the single individual cells at the blood cell. So eventually actually this is what we want. Because why? Okay, you need to imagine this actually. For example, this is our red blood cell. Eh, sorry, our red, uh, blood vessel actually. Okay. So we cannot avoid the cholesterol and everything. Because cholesterol actually is uh, is a part of our energy. Okay. When they go to the river, they process and everything, okay, they, uh, they turn into glucose and then they how to say they use this energy. So for some time actually the bad cholesterol or the unused cholesterol okay they linger on with our our blood actually okay they travel along with our blood and everything and then sometimes okay they start to, to the wall of our blood vessel so by time to time they become bigger and bigger and bigger right so if our blood actually is individual like this okay need to, to remind you this red blood cell is like a soft tofu very how to say flexible and everything so whenever our cholesterol actually how to say um, getting narrowing our blood vessel okay even our blood is individual they can move through easily yeah, they, they are very flexible but when they become stuck like this okay they cannot they cannot go through so this is the cause of heart attack stroke or for example like uh, high blood pressure uh, this one actually can go to high blood pressure actually. because why yeah, the movement of the blood actually is not there uh, even though you have how to say your your level of water intake actually is high and then at the back there you see yeah, some like needle shape something like that okay that one actually is stress the stress cholesterol Okay, whenever our stress level, uh, either one, whether because of emotional or because of physical, okay, 
our human body actually will how to say when we are stressed okay most of the time actually we how to say produce a hormone that we what we call as cortisol mm. so the cortisol actually can fuse with our cholesterol and then they they have to say they imitate the this kind of how to say formation to indication that okay you have stress high level of stress so most of the time actually you can see all of uh, your background there okay Yeah, let's see all over. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this indication of stress level, high stress level actually. So I understand due to maybe because of your work. Okay, maybe maybe because of your uh, anything your your last time everything actually. Okay, so it may can be able to say affect your body. When you got stress level, okay, it may affect your body actually by time to time. So, you can see throughout your blood actually, very packed.